Currently, the average student-teacher ratio is 15 to 1 in public institutions and 17 in private institutions. In this context, most educational institutions find it difficult to respond in a personalized way to the development of each student's competences. In particular, the development of these competences is highly valued in higher education. Information and communication technologies, ICT, mediated learning, may be the solution. Specifically, Pedagogical Conversational Agent, PCA, better known as Educational Chatbot, are learning tools that can favor adaptive learning in the acquisition of research skills. Dear all, my name is Elvis Gerardo Ortega Ochoa, and I will make a presentation on research entitled A Pedagogical Conversational Agent and Development of Research Competences, a Quasi-Experimental Mixed Method Research. So, for a starter, you can see in this slide the index of the presentation. The questions that arise in the literature and require studies are assessment of learning outcomes and perception about learning promoted by PCA. The results of which is also with interest in the practice, given that it will allow responding to the need to promote adaptive learning. So, scientific researchers suggest the assessment of learning outcomes and perception of a student in a general and particular way on application of PCA in different domains, whose design and development is focused on achieving student-teacher interaction, that is, incorporating sufficient empathic competences to promote an adequate online learning environment. Complementarily, there is a need to strengthen the online teaching and learning process in higher education institutions, subjects and research projects. For instance, it is the case of the basic education degree at the National University of Education, UNAE, for its acronym in Spanish. The PCA, our educational chatbot that can favor the development of research skills, this hypothesis has no antecedent, so in this presentation the status of each variable is presented separately. On the one hand, Chatbot it can be avoided or not, which interact with the student through natural language. This can have multimodal communication. Recent studies have evidenced the need to configure a chatbot that incorporates emphatic competences to mitigate frustration and conversation breaks. Furthermore, research has suggested quantitative, qualitative, and mixed assessment of their results. On the other hand, research skills are a complex and broad set of competences which are highly valued in higher education. The goal of developing these competences in a student through an online environment has promoted teachers to propose and assess various strategies as well as as favor research to work on establishing a reliable way to assess these competences. Then, the most recent research considered that a comprehensive assessment is needed to determine the adaptive learning outcomes articulated by PCA, given that a myriad of conditions and influence it. Moreover, ICT mediated strategies favor the development of research competences. In this sense, it is essential to define the theoretical framework of these competences. Therefore, the research question is how adaptive learning articulated by PCA affect the development of research competences in the age cycle of the basic education career at the UNAE academic period semester 2, 2023? Specifically, this study will focus on specifically as well the sub-question. Is there a relationship between adaptive learning articulated by PCA and acquired research competences? 
Are there a significant difference in acquired research competences between the pretest and post-test and between the control and experimental groups? What are the student perceptions and adaptive, of adaptive learning articulated by PCA? So, the objective is understand the adaptive learning articulated by PCA and its impact on the development of research competences. Teacher, readers of the research are the main beneficiaries because they will know whether there is a relationship between the two variables and whether there are significant differences in learning outcomes. This information is very important, as well as uh, uh, they will know the student perception. These issues are relevant to understand how PCA work in the online learning environment. The research will be a mixed method quasi-experimental convergent core design, or it will collect and analyze both quantitative and qualitative data and will integrate the information within a quasi-experiment. The research will collect a quality component during the randomized control trial. The purpose is to understand and speak process and experiment by the experimental groups. You can see it clearly in this slide. The data source of the quantitative approach will be the level of research proficiency for which the tests will be used and research, in this case, student perception of adaptive learning articulated by PCA in a general manner for which the survey will be used. The source of the data for the qualitative approach will also be the perception. In this case, uh, this will be a particular way for which reflective practice will be used. Regarding the implementation protocols, the two approaches will follow the same guidelines. The instrument administration will be electronic and apply at the start and the end of the implementation stage. Moreover, descriptive and inferential statistics, a description, ANOVA, and so forth, will be the data analysis techniques for the quantitative approach and collect analysis for the qualitative approach. The integrated results will be performed on a joint display. Furthermore, the population will be the student in the A cycle of the basic education career at the UNAE, given that they have a greater love of research subject. I will select identical sample for the two approach using one state cluster probability sampling, given that the units of analysis are grouped into courses. Also, I will choose the courses using simple random sampling. Half of them will be assigned to the control group and the other half to the experimental group. The mixed method research validity uh, issue important is based on each approach and a specific strategy to this method. The strategies for the quantitative approach are construct validity granted to by the positive consequence of previous research and reliability granted by pylon the initial version to construct definitive version. The strategies for the qualitative approach are communicating the result to the participants, reporting divergent results and examining the results together with teachers familiar with qualitative research and the subject. The strategies for mixed method research are addressing the internal and external threats identified in the literature review, providing a justification for qualitative data collection and its use, and considering unobtrusive data collection. Last, but not least, the research will have an ethical and moral commitment to the advancement of knowledge. Therefore, roles will be established that will govern the study development, even if they modify the results. The rules will be established in the research ethical protocol. The research is feasible with my research skills and resources, my experience in applying mixed methods research is varied. In addition, I belong to the Internet Computing and System Optimization Research Group, 
as the worker and have uh, the necessary material and financial resources thanks to the UOC doctoral grant support. Finally, I also have access to the study context since I am part of the university community. The researcher time estimate does not exceed the duration of doctoral studies. The most time consuming research stage in mixed method research is the implementation and the generation of resources, since they require organizing the quasi experiment and collecting a large amount of data for subsequent analysis. Considering the situation described, you can see in this slide that the majority allocation in the timeline to this stage. Before finishing, you can see in this slide the reference of in the site research. And that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Happy holidays and happy new year.